today we're going to be talking about my favorite tools for 3D printing success. Alright, so uh, welcome back. Uh, happy 3D Thursday and uh, today we will uh, once again be talking about my favorite tools for keeping my printers up to date and fixed and uh, and uh, also making my projects and finishing my projects and other things like that. So let's dive into it. So the first category of tools we will be talking about is uh, fixing my printers or uh, preparing the print bed and just getting everything ready for printing. So let's start. The first thing I think any maker should have in general, uh, even if you don't have a 3D printer, is just a multi-tool. Uh, this is a, a uh, Swiss champ, I believe, and uh, it's very helpful. It has a knife, it's pretty sharp, so be careful with that. And uh, it has some tweezers and some other pretty great tools that are helpful for uh, keeping my printers up to date and uh, fixing other things and just touching up projects. So the next thing we'll be talking about is tape. Uh, if you have a 3D printer, I recommend that you get blue painter's tape and captain tape. Uh, if you have a heated bed, you should get bigger spools of this, but I don't have any printers with heated beds, so I just have a little thin strip roll of captain tape. So the blue painter's tape is used for keeping your print stuck to the build platform. So I have a ton of this on my printer bot, as you can see right here. And I don't have any for my cube, only because it comes with uh, glue that's used uh, to keep the print stuck. So you can see right there, that's the glue, it's sticky, and it's kind of really messy. So I like the blue ba painter's tape because you can just take it off and adjust it. Um, and then I have the captain tape for some of the parts that I've printed for my printer bot, so this keeps the heat kind of from getting to those parts and making them melt or warp, or I'll put them on components like the stepper motor to keep uh, the heat from going anywhere else. So going along with uh, blue painter's tape and captain tape, I have a glue stick. Uh, this is just a standard uh, washable uh, glue stick, and uh, I put this on my print bed. Uh, and it kind of helps keeping the print stuck to the bed. So uh, I think you should have glue if you have a 3D printer. So the next two tools I have are the same basically. Um, so these are little spatulas. This came with my cube and it's much uh, stronger uh, than this one. This is flexible but it is thinner while this one is a little bit thicker and it's uh, it's a little bit wider. So this one is good for kind of just knocking the prints off of the build platform. And this is good for getting underneath the uh, prints so you can just kind of lift it up. So these are very, very important and I do uh, recommend these if you own a 3D printer. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, very important. If you're a maker, if you work with tools, you should have these. These are needle nose pliers. Uh, most printers come with these. If they don't, you should get uh, these because these are really important for cleaning up the nozzle when it's priming. And uh, you can just pull off little strings from printed parts. And uh, it's really great for just keeping your prints uh, clean and uh, just helping to clean up your printer a little bit. So I do recommend these if you own a 3D printer. And if you don't own a 3D printer, I still recommend these. So the next thing I'm going to show you are um, these tools I use almost every day. Whenever I'm printing something, you need these. Uh, they're Allen wrenches. These are the single most helpful tools that I've ever used for uh, upgrading my printer or just keeping it uh, working. So I've even printed these little handles that make it easier to use because these are pretty hard to use and uh, this makes it a lot easier to tighten bolts. So the last thing I'm going to show you, uh, there are a bunch of these, uh, they're zip ties. I use these so much for my printer bot, I use them everywhere. These are really helpful. I got this, uh, I got 200 of them, uh, sorted uh, lengths and widths, and uh, it was like $3 on Amazon. These are super helpful, 
So if you own a printer bot or any printer that uses zip ties, and there aren't that many out there, you should get zip ties. And if you don't own any printers that use zip ties, just get them because they're really helpful. The next tool I have is um, a screwdriver. Now this screwdriver is special because it is it acts as a ratchet and you can change it and it has uh, one in the middle where it doesn't uh, have the ratchet thing. So this is good because it has changeable tips and I have a whole set of these. This thing is really helpful for fixing my printers and just working on different types of projects. Now I'm going to move on uh, to tools that I use to finish uh, my prints that I print on my 3D printers. So let's get to it. First tool I have is uh, a clamp. I have uh, just two of these. These are really good for just holding things in place. I use this when I'm using my electric sander, palm sander, uh, for the wood filament and just sanding things down in general. So this is good for clamping two things together. So if I'm gluing two parts together, or using acetone to bond two ABS parts together, I'll use clamps. Sometimes, uh, before when I, I just installed these new uh, brackets for my bed, uh, before the screws would just pop out, so I just put a clamp on the side right here, and that kept everything in place. It was temporary, of course, but these are great for just doing different projects. The next set of tools I have all fall into the same category. They all involve heat. So the first thing I have is completely optional. If you do have one of these though, it's great. So I have a three doodlers uh, first generation. I do have the second generation, but this one uh, I printed a stand for, so I just keep it out on my work table. So this is great for welding parts together or just fixing up little gaps and other uh, flaws that some prints may have. So I use this to fill in gaps or infill or just to add some little uh, touch-ups to different parts. And it's cool to add color to other parts too. Um, so that's what I use this for. Here I have a wireless uh, soldering iron. So I can turn this on and then sadly it was really cheap and I now know why. It's because you have to hold this button that has the flashlight. That's the only way to make it heat up. It is really fast, but if you're not holding this button, then it's not heating up. So, um, yeah, this is good for removing support material. And uh, it, once it's hot, you can just cut right through the support material. It's worked with most filaments that I have had. And it's really great. And uh, if there's still some parts left over, um, then you can just put it in my, I can just put it in my rock tumbler and it will remove everything else. And it's actually heated up now. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it didn't take that long to heat up. So it's pretty quick. So, um, yeah. All right, so the last tool I have uh, is a hot glue gun. And these, if, if you do arts and crafts or anything like that, just get a hot glue gun. These are really helpful for bonding parts together. If it's ABS though, I do use acetone because that seems to work the best. So this is just great for temporary fixes and uh, holding parts together. It doesn't have to be that strong, but I really recommend getting a hot glue gun. They're very cheap. This was like $5 or something. So if you are doing any types of arts and crafts, anything like that, then I do recommend getting a hot glue gun. All right, so the next tools I have are great for finishing uh, printed objects. So the first thing I have is a large file. This is great for sanding down parts that you've printed. And I also have a set of small files, and I'll show you a close-up of these. But these are great for getting in little areas that this can't get in, or the palm sander I have uh, can't reach. So it's great for just finishing products uh, to make them look their best. All right, so these last set of tools I'm going to be showing you are just general tools that I absolutely love and recommend to you guys. So let's get started. All right, so the next uh, tool I'm going to show you is super important, and I use these almost every day. Uh, if you do any type of 3D modeling or CAD software, you probably have a set of digital calipers or just calipers. These are the most helpful tool I've ever used and I've used them to uh, create my 3D printer. So I have some stepper motors and if I wanted to model a little enclosure or bracket to hold these, I can use calipers to get the size of it. I can make couplers for Z-axis and I can model 
a ton of different parts with just using calipers. It's great for just modeling things, cases for your phone, or anything else you want to do. All right, so the next tool I'm going to show you is a digital multimeter. These things uh, aren't really related to 3D printing, but I do work with electronics a lot, and this is really helpful for determining different voltages or how much current uh, a component is using. So I love using digital multimeters. It's really helpful and uh, it's fun. So yeah. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you for today is uh, this tape. This is double-sided foam tape, and this is great for hanging different things up. I will show you uh, some clips of some stuff I've hung up. I've hung up some fake security cameras, uh, a siren, and uh, some spool holders actually using this tape and some screws. So this tape is super helpful, and I really recommend it. It's great for just everyday use, um, and I love it. All right, so that was the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy 3D Thursday, uh, and uh, please support me on Thingiverse. You can check out my Thingiverse profile in the, the links in the description. Also, uh, please support me on Patreon if you can. Uh, you don't have to, but if you can, it's appreci appreciated. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please stick around for more videos. If you like what you saw, then leave a like down below, and uh, please subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.